Hello everyone, hello, welcome to another YouTube video. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a good day or night, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so today I thought we might do a little bit of a uh, speed paint again. Um, one of my proudest pieces, that I really, really like it still. It's still a little old. I think maybe back in 2020, 2021, but I'm still very proud of it. And I thought it would be fun to, you know, just go over a speed paint. So this is the piece we're going to look at today. Um, as I said, it's a little old, so the details aren't quite as fine-tuned as I would have it today. But I still really like this piece. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of what I produced at the level I was at at the time. Um, this was also when I was still figuring out hair, so the hair is a bit different. But yeah, I thought it would be really fun to do a speed paint of this. Alright, so this was my image. Again, this was a coloring thing. As I said, my anatomy was pretty good, so I wanted to get my coloring up. And this is how I used it. As you can see, I edited it quite a bit. I thought his hands were a little too thick for Dobby. Dobby's pretty lanky. Um, and, you know, I thought his ear was a bit too big. And, you know, I just kind of did threw in some minor, minor adjustments here and there to make it more, you know, Dobby, because he's not going to look exactly like Dobby. And then, you know, just perfecting the sketch, and this was when I was looking up references for Dobby Scars, pretty quick, I know. Uh, then I colored the skin. I decided to make the skin lighter at this point, because he is a pretty pasty boy. <laughs> and, um, you know, sometimes I feel like he's, he's on the lighter side of skin tones, especially because he's, you know, decomposing. <laughs> Wonderful. This is back when I didn't, when I did all the shading all at once. Now I kind of do the base colors first and then I go back to shade, but this is back when I just did everything all at once. So adding in some of the details. I already put the, you know, rounded stuff. Hand details are really important. I feel like people leave out the details in the hands a lot and it can make the drawing fall flat a little. Obviously I would put more details now, but Again, for the level I was at at the time, I'm still very happy with it. Yep, and then, you know, just fine-tuning, adding um, deeper shadows, and, um, you know, making it pop, really. Uh, I would do shading differently now, but, you know, this, again, was very good for where I was at the time. I would make it less of a brown color scheme and more of a maybe blue or red almost. This is when I added highlight. Highlight is so important. It's one of my favorite um, things to add to any piece. It just really, it really makes it work. This is me getting the veins in his hand, which, uh, is, you know, silly detail to focus on, but I thought it really made his skin pop. And then that was me looking at the reference image again really quickly. Super quick flash. <laughs> Um, you can't really tell, but I'm making the fingernails pop a little bit more. Uh, I believe I made his fingernails black in this drawing, but this was before I decided to do that. So, uh, I, you know, I'm just adding some shadow around the bed of the nail. Yep, there it is. There's some with the nail polish. I don't know, I just feel like Dobby's a character who would have his fingernails painted black the majority of the time. <laughs> but maybe I'm just projecting. <laughs> And this is me doing the eyelashes. This is when I was kind of figuring out how to do eyelashes. I do eyelashes a bit differently now, but you know, I was just kind of figuring it out and getting rid of the line art to make sure everything is cohesive and there's not a teeny tiny little gap because sometimes that happens when I color with line art. This is me doing the lips and I still to this day am not very good at lips. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I just can't do them. I'm not bad when it comes to side or three quarter profile with lips, but when it comes to like full front lips or if the mouth is like open, if it's not like resting in an expression, or like, you know, it's not like a resting expression, I can't do lips very well. So, you know, for, for where I was, I'm very proud of myself. This is me realizing that um, his bottom lip is actually, you know, the color of his 
decomposing skin and not, um, you know, a normal lip color, so I had to fix that. Easy fix, though. Just change the color palette, and I actually didn't change much of the highlight. And I tried to make his lips look soft, but I know probably in real life they are not very really soft. <laughs> They're probably pretty, pretty chapped. This is the shading of his purple skin. I, I kind of color it, or I guess shade it, just how I would normal skin, and then I add the texture later. And I find that works just fine. Um, I like to add the texture later because I know this skin is pretty rough, and you know, I think coloring it just like normal skin at first really helps to define the features, and then you can go in and add the texture because texture is kind of one of the last things you should add. So that's why I still do it this way, and I, you know, I draw this boy a lot. So this is me realizing I forgot to add highlight, so I'm going in real quick and adding that, and. Um, Quick tip, if you want to have things look more skin-like, uh, don't blend it all the way. If you blend it all the way, it'll look really smooth, and skin is not smooth. <laughs> skin is not perfectly smooth. Uh, it looks much better if you don't blend it all the way, which is so hard for me to do because I'm a perfectionist, and I prefer when things are perfectly blended and smooth, but that's not what skin looks like. so. This is me going in and adding, again, the texture. I actually added some highlight here and there because I just didn't think it had enough. Uh, usually what I do is I just smudge the existing highlight and shadows in, like, lines, in repeated lines, but I didn't feel like it had enough when I did that, so I just went in and added some random lines. There was no reason to my to my random lines. It just, just was putting them there where I thought it looked kind of empty. Um, this is me doing the earrings and the staples. Doesn't look like much is happening, but <laughs> if you pay attention to where his staples and earrings are, that's what I'm doing. I'm around his eye at this point. And one thing I feel like people forget a lot when they draw Dobby is the fact that his staples pull on his skin. Because, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's pulling on the skin, so you want to show the lines that do that because, um, you know, it just makes it more realistic instead of just having it placed over and just hoping it looks cohesive. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but originally I was going to make his hair black, and then I realized I didn't really want to color black hair, so I changed it to white, and if you don't know, spoiler, but his hair is naturally white and he just dyes it black, but, or gray, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you actually, um, when you're drawing, nothing is really truly white. It's more of like a silver gray, because if you use true white, then you have nothing to highlight it with, and then it will just kind of look flat and, you know, like a flat plane of snow. And uh, you don't want that in your art. Or, I don't know, maybe you do, but it, it's better. Or, you know, if you, you can use white, but um, it's better if you save the white for highlights and just use the color right underneath it, and then have a background that isn't white. <laughs> That is uh, very helpful. You need to vary your background colors. When I was just starting, and even still now, I don't really do backgrounds very well, or much, or at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really do backgrounds very much. So it's important to really make your drawings pop and keep them interesting. And so do backgrounds. <laughs> this is coming from someone who doesn't do backgrounds very often. I'm working on it, but. Um, Right now I just do simple background. This is me changing the color of the background. I was kind of playing around with a different color that wasn't white, but I also did that because I was coloring in his jacket and I, the difference between, like the contrast between the white background and his navy blue jacket was so large that I couldn't tell what I was coloring. So I had to like change the background color to, in order for my eyes to like see it. <laughs> This is me adding some details. I was gonna add fire in the back, but uh, obviously decided against it. And then I added that. I actually was originally, that was part of the original piece, but I, I forgot it in the sketch. So when I was done, I was like, oh, okay, I'm done. And then I was like, oh, wait, I was gonna add much more. And so that was me last minute adding. Um, and this is me filming, <laughs> filming stuff. So I had to like undo and redo a lot. But these are all the, 
depths condensed, I suppose. <laughs> and yeah, so that's this drawing right here. Yeah, I'm still very proud of it. Um, as I've said in previous videos, if I could go back or redo it, I would do it differently. But for the level I was at at the time, I'm still very proud of it. I um, still love this piece. I'm very happy with the pose that I chose. It's interesting. Even though it's just a regular portrait, it's still very interesting. And, you know, he's not just facing forward or facing side. I like to do side profiles a lot. And that a lot of my latest work has been side profiles because side profiles are very comfortable. But I think I'm going to try and start doing more front facing profiles because I just, I really need to get better at those. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, this is a drawing I'm really proud of, so I'm very, I was very excited to film this and watch my uh, process again. <laughs> it was a long time ago, so um, I don't exactly remember exactly what I did. But anyways, that's it for today. Um, the next video will be more Omno highlights. I'm really close to finishing the game. So I'm kind of, not rushing, but I'm kind of like playing in longer chunks than I normally would because I'm just so excited to see the end and see what happens. So I think I'm on one, either the last or one of the last lands if you've been keeping up. But, um, so that will be the next video. And, um, I don't know what I'm going to play next. Uh, I think I'll probably ask you guys what you guys would like to see next to decide um and then if you don't care then i'll just pick one <laughs> but yes anyways um thank you for watching and i hope you guys like the video please like and subscribe i feel so silly saying that but please do it means a lot i work very hard on these youtube videos so su support is is very nice it means a lot to me Anyways, I shall see everyone 